My name is So Kane, the goddess. I love to write, but I love to sing and some other things. In the real world, I'm a college professor. I'm an assistant professor here at Arkansas State University, Newport, and I teach English. I was watching TV <laughs> and I saw the the news, the, the story on the consortium and how this new thing was going on. And I had a song called Top to My Boiling Pot and I wrote it about a guy that I really liked. And the lyrics were, he's the top to my boiling pot. Mac and cheesy calls the shots. The goddess who we got on her knees. Can I be in your number one spot? If I say please, pretty please. I went online and submitted the song and filled out the application and then got a call back later on. Music has always been some aspect of my life. When I didn't ha I don't have cable, but I do have records, you know, so I don't, it's never not been there. And I always used to sing, you know, in kind of like smaller kind of sectors where I might sing for a wedding party or, you know, it was always kind of on a much lower scale in that sense. I don't know, sometimes I, I think about, I reflect on situations that I've like been through and I try to figure out a, a way to put a picture or a story to it. My mother passed away from colon cancer in 2005 and it was a really tough experience for me. She died two weeks before uh, Mother's Day and a week before I graduated college. And honestly, my mother was the only reason I went to college. But she had never gone to college, so it was something very important to her. She was in the Marine Corps and she worked for the federal government. And so education was something she pushed on me. You know, you're smart, you need to go to school. So when she passed in the way that she did, it was just really, really tough for me to kind of, um, you know, deal with that situation. So here it is eight years later, of all the poems that I've written and the stories I've written, while she has the presence in those, she has never been the focus and the main event. And so all these things kind of came to play here and I realized like it had been all this time, eight years, and I had never written a song about her, not one song. And I realized like, you know, that was one thing that I wanted to challenge myself to do. So one of the things that I was trying to go with was this idea of the phoenix because I was thinking that a phoenix who ends up, you know, dying and rising from the ashes, that is like to me one of the from a from a certain perspective is also the person that you are when you're grieving the loss of someone. So I tried to make it really, really universal. I don't have answers in it, but I definitely talk about some of the things that I've gone through and just what it feels like to really love something and then lose it but also lose yourself and that's why I named it the Phoenix so the um the chorus of the song is the chorus of the song is event horizon made the call right in front of me you know the event horizon is the point of no return because you you won't ever return to who you are so the essentially the story is that the phoenix is flying towards the sun because the sun in a sense feels like a safe place it's made of flames you know the phoenix in this case might be myself my mother anybody has risen and she's flying to a place that feels safe but she can't turn back because ultimately you get to a point where there is no place you can't return back you'll always be moving forward in a sense i try to live my life with a sense of of real purpose and like a a sense of trying to make things beautiful. I want to have a, a different sense of consciousness to my music, of anything that I write. Ultimately, my final goal is more so, you know, where people come to me and they're like, you know, I really want to kind of write something about what's going on in this. Like, you know, I want to I want to do Marvin Gaye and then not just the first kind of love I want you, but also to do what's going on. Like, I want to be that kind of person. And I hope, hopefully, like, even more so, like, I'd like to develop, like, my own sense of, like, singing and performing and that kind of thing. So I can, you know, become more of an artist and not just a songwriter, too. <laughs> I want a legacy of longevity. I want one of respect. And I want to be, like, the artist that artists listen to. Ashes and my feet, I hear the drum. Of a lonely heartbeat in the distance, a voice calls to me. It says, "Move on and be what you want."